Gaming Bolt presents 15 amazing Fallout facts you probably didn't know. The Fallout franchise is a massive, sprawling series of games, spanning decades in their creation and covering vast expanses of the devastated fictional world they inhabit. Many of the games take dozens of hours to beat, and each of them is packed with content as well as references to the popular cultural artifacts of our own world. To get you up to speed on their many facets, Here's a list of 15 amazing facts you probably didn't know about Fallout. The sound you hear entering vats is the turn-end sound from Fallout. The tone that plays upon entering into the vat system has become an iconic piece of the modern series, but its history actually extends further back past the implementation of the vat system. The tone that plays upon entering the computerized targeting system is the turn end tone that played in the original Fallout 1. It's a callback to the game's slower, turn based combat system, and one that makes sense, considering that by entering the VATS, you've basically taken an FPS and momentarily made it into a turn based game. Friends actor Matthew Perry is the voice of Benny in Fallout New Vegas. Friends actor Matthew Perry was such a vocal fan of Fallout 3 that when Fallout New Vegas was in development, he was invited to Bethesda Softworks to voice Benny, the head of the chairman and aspiring usurper of Mr. House's throne. The bell sound that plays after launching a nuke from the Fat Man is the lunchroom bell at Bethesda's offices. The Fat Man is one of Fallout's goofiest and coolest weapons. There's nothing quite like launching a miniature tactical nuke and watching hordes of super mutants turn to dust, but not all aspects of its design have sinister origins. The bell sound that plays after launching the weapon's ordnance is actually the sound of the Bethesda Softworks lunchroom bell in their offices. We're sure firing the weapon in-game must trigger a response in Bethesda's employees, though we're not sure exactly what that response might be. The Fat Man is based on a real weapon. Not only is the Fat Man one of Fallout's most fun weapons, it's actually based on a real prototype. The Fat Man is based upon the Davy Crockett Tactical Nuclear Recoilless Rifle, which was developed in the 1950s and intended for use against massed armor formations in Korea or if war broke out in Europe. The device was one of the smallest nuclear weapons ever built and is close to as small as a fission-reliant bomb can be though at the time its explosive power equaled that of the world's largest conventional bombs. The DC region of Fallout 3 was originally twice as large. The downtown DC region of Fallout 3 was originally planned to be twice as large, giving players a sizable chunk of the city to explore in its dilapidated state. It was determined, however, that the city was too confusing for players to navigate on that scale, and I must say I'm glad they made the choice to cut much of the city. I found it impossible to navigate, even in its trimmed down state. To compensate, the outlying wastelands were nearly doubled in size. The Hubris Comics building in Fallout 3 features a functioning text adventure game called Grelock. As if Fallout 3 wasn't fast enough, the game also includes games within itself. If you head to the Hubris Comics building, you'll find a functioning text adventure game called Reign of Grelock. The game functions like the classic text adventures of the 1980s, relying on player inputs like Go North to move. The game follows a character's quest to forge a magical sword and use it to defeat the evil Grelok. It's not a very deep experience, but it's pretty cool that it's in the game at all. Fallout 3 originally included a self-surgery mini-game in which players had to patch particularly terrible wounds. Development for Fallout 3 included the idea of a mini-game in which the player is forced to perform self-surgery to stem the flow of their most egregious wounds. The horrifying concept was dropped, however, as it was thought to slow down the pace of the game too much. You do, after all, suffer horrible wounds with relative frequency in the Fallout series, and making people pause to play Surgery Simulator every time that happened would indeed slow the pace of the game. Fallout 2 references Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. In Fallout 2, while wandering the wasteland, you may come across the smashed corpse of a whale in the desert. The dead whale makes no sense in the context, but is actually a reference to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 
In the book, a nuclear missile is prevented from exploding when the improbability drive turns it into a whale. The missile is stopped, but the whale meets a grisly end. Could the Fallout universe feature an improbability drive? Harold is the character with the most appearances in the Fallout franchise. Players might expect there to be a few more characters that make repeat appearances in the Fallout franchise. Surprisingly, the Fallout games are slim on returning characters, and very few of them cross between games. Harold is the character in this series that has made the most appearances, appearing in Fallout, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, and Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. The friendly ghoul is in fact the character with the most appearances in the entire franchise. Cars in Fallout 3 are based on the Ford Nucleon. Fallout 3 is full of the ruins of many desiccated vehicles of a distinct style. These retro-futuristic cars are based upon a real design proposal by Ford for a vehicle called the Nucleon. It was a proposed model for what a car might look like if it were based upon a nuclear power plant. The car fits seamlessly into the aesthetics of the Fallout universe and is a perfect callback to what we thought the future might look like. Todd Howard's son is the voice actor for the baby in Fallout 3. Todd Howard, the executive producer on Fallout, had his infant son come into the studio to work as a voice actor on Fallout 3. The voice of the baby that you start the game as is his son, mewling into the microphone to capture the essence of a baby wandering a small and closed-in world. It's a stunning performance, and we're sure the child has a long career ahead of him in the voice acting industry based on his early success. Shinji Mikami was the voice actor for Takahashi in Fallout 4. Todd Howard's infant son and Matthew Perry aren't the only people to get jobs as voice actors at Bethesda. Legendary game designer Shinji Mikami made his way into the Fallout universe by playing the role of Takahashi in Fallout 4. The malfunctioning robot only says one line, and it's a grammatically flawed one that directly refers to a line from Blade Runner. In the original plans, Liberty Prime was pilotable. In Fallout 3's early design stages, Liberty Prime was a pilotable craft. Players were to ride in the robot's head during the main game's climactic battles. The player would use Liberty Prime to lay siege to Rivet City, where they'd also stolen the power source for the giant robot. You can actually call the vault Tech support line. In Fallout 4, the vault tech posters hanging on your house's walls have a hotline number at the bottom, and you can actually call this number. Doing so will connect you to an automated system that informs you that there are several hundred thousand callers in front of you waiting for service, and that the estimated wait time is hundreds of years. To date, no one has stuck it out in order to speak to an actual human. Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 feature posters with Maynard James Keenan on them. Fallout 1 and 2 both feature posters plastered to walls featuring the likeness of Maynard James Keenan, the singer for Tool, on them. It's one of many pop culture references peppered through the series, in which callbacks to the real world are as frequent as the fictional world building done by the developers. And that wraps it up. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos daily, so make sure you don't miss them by subscribing. We appreciate your support, and we thank you for checking us out.